cuisine blends the five fundamental tastes and the food in front of me truly is intoxicating. And I'm here today at the Watai Temple in North Hollywood with Tukta. It's such a pleasure to meet you, Tukta. I have been a fan of your food for so long. It's absolutely delicious. Talk to me about why are there so many different flavors when it comes to the food of Thailand? The taste of uh, Thai food is so different because of uh, in each part of Thailand, we we make it different. Like uh, for example, like this one is the papaya salad. This one is from our uh, eastern part of Thailand. So it's from the eastern part of Thailand, the yes. papaya salad. Yes, this is kind of like the main dish of the people in eastern part of Thailand, which is it's made from the green papaya. And it's so uh, it's so tasty because it has like a uh, lemon juice, it has um, sugar, and it also has fish sauce. So it's so tasty, and it's very um, popular here. So it has a little bit of the sweet, the sour. Probably hands down my favorite. Talk to me about the pad thai. Pad thai seems to be a dish that everybody loves. Yes. Pad Thai is uh, it's kind of like uh, it's also popular here because of it has the taste is like um it has like sweet and a little bit of uh, spicy the uh, fish sauce it has tamarinds it has uh, a little bit of chilies and uh, we mix all together and uh, for Pad Thai over here that we make we make it with uh, just only with tofu because for uh, vegetarian people that they like to have Pad Thai so when they come here they can have it. And if you're going to eat Thai food, you have to try a curry, of course. Yeah, this one is a uh, chicken green curry, which is this one is uh, uh, it's very tasty because of uh, for this for this one we can eat with uh, steamed rice and also we can eat it with the uh, rice noodle. And whereabouts would you find this in Thailand? Uh, in Thailand. We can find it everywhere. 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 You can find it anywhere yeah. in Thailand. So green curry, so everybody knows. I think, I mean, it's so noisy here today because there's so many people coming to sample this food and enjoy the temple. It's wonderful to see people coming and supporting the beautiful dishes that you cook. Tell me about this dish over here. Okay, uh, that one is uh, called Pat Pitkin. Pat Pitkin. Yes, that's called Pat Pitkin. And the thing is, uh, from what we have here, we have this one on this side is with the fresh pork. And on this side is the, it's like a skin pork, which is that uh, we also make it's like a, the same ingredients, but the taste is going to be a little bit different because on, on this side it's like crunchy. So it's a pork dish, you have a softer pork taste, but then you have fried the pork. Yeah. That sounds delicious. <laughs> it really does. And obviously you can't go wrong without a sweet dessert in Thailand. Tell me about the fried banana. This is something that your mother makes herself. Yes, this is what my mother makes it herself. This one is called um, Khao Mao Tart. Inside is our uh, baby bananas and outside we wrap it with our uh, shredded rice mixed with uh, palm sugar, shredded coconut, and then we kind of like mix all together and wrap it and then we deep fry. Wow, it, it really does smell wonderful. Why are there so many different flavors in Thailand? Where does the influence come from? Well, um, I think because of uh, in each part that uh, they have uh, they have different um, culture and the way the way they eat like um, in in middle part in uh, central part of Thailand we we kind of like eating that not too spicy it's kind of like my medium something like that but the thing is in the southern part of Thailand they eat things really spicy they like it hot down there yeah. <laughs> it's interesting because you know when you look at different cuisines from around the world the food from Thailand truly hits on every fundamental taste. You really do have a variety of food. Why would you encourage people to come down to Wat Thai Temple and sample this food? Over here, you get the fresh food that's healthy for your health. And also uh, the food that we sell over here, you can get it $4 for one dish of the food. I don't know where else you could find an incredible Thai dish like this 
in Los Angeles for four dollars. You have a three dollar plate, a four dollar plate, and for this one, it's five dollars. Five dollar plates. That's incredible, and it's a really big uh, serving of food. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing these dishes with me. Not only are they colorful, they smell incredible, and I know they're going to taste great once we get into it here. And if you guys would love to come down and sample this food yourself at the Wat Thai Temple here in North Hollywood, Tuk Ta and her family are here to serve you up the best in Thai cuisine. We should try some of this.